Hello, welcome to lesson 18 types of methods in C sharp brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we're going to learn the last category in method that is based on parameters. Right now, we'll jump into the slide where it is explained. Based on parameters, it has two categories in it. One is call by value and call by reference. By default, variable data which are passed from one function to another function it is passed by value or it is called by value suppose if you want to call by reference then you have to use two keywords those are c-sharp keywords ref and out which will pass variable data from one function to another function by referring it by reference that is call by reference so to understand it very clearly we'll jump into a demo i'll fire up visual studio here i'm having a piece of code in this, prog in this class or in this program, I'm having two methods. One is main method, the other one is sum function method. The method name is one is main method, the other method name is sum function. Okay. In the main method, I'm having a variable called outside var. I'm initialized the value to it 20 and I'm calling the sum function method in this main method. Okay. So in the main method, I'm passing in the main method. I'm passing this outside var variable to some function. So whatever the data that is passed in some function in the main method will go to that some function. Means here I'm passing outside var and the value I was in plus 20. This 20 value will go and sit in this inside var. So and and whatever the data is passed to this function. Suppose 20 is passed here. It is passed here that the value is passed to this function and I'm trying to manipulate that data. I'm trying to manipulate that data by adding 10 to it. It means that I'm passing 20 here, 20 plus 10, the output should be 30. Now when I press F11, when I press F11, the build has started. It has it this it, it has hit the starting point of the main method. Now I'll press F11. It has reached inside. Now the value of outside where is 20, and it has reached the function sum function. So when it has reached this sum function, it has to go the def it has to reach the definition of the function also. So it comes here. You can see here it has reached here. Now here it's trying to manipulate the data here the value what I've got is 20 and here it, I'm trying to manipulate the data that is 20 plus 10 and I'll get the output as 30 and when it reaches back to the main method the value still remains 20 that is why because at the output it means that whatever the changes happen to inside var whatever the changes happened here inside var in some function method it is not affecting the outside variable in other words to be in simple over here means I'd like to continue this program. Okay. Now, over here, uh, when that over here, the, when the data was passed here, it was called by value. It means that completely new copy of data was created and passed here. That is why whatever the changes happened here, it did not bring here. It remained a complete new copy of data was created and passed here. So the value remained 20 and this is this is what we called as call by value now we'll now we'll see how to pass with this variable data by reference it's very simple now here i'll just alter the piece the code here i'll just use the ref keyword to call a variable data by reference now here also now when i run this program when i press control f5 the output will get it as 30. Now we'll ex we'll explore it how we got 30. It means when outside var value was passed to this sum function, this outside var value, it was passed to this sum function as yes, I'm passing here. And here is not only passed the data, this 20, but it also passed the reference. It also passed the reference to this function, sum function. So in other words, in sum function, we are manipulating the inside var actually we are not actually we are not manipulating the inside var actually we are manipulating the outside thing this only by this happened because of ref, ref keyword now uh, when i run this program it will hit this point that is some function then it will reach here and the value is 20 here now once it is 20 it will come and alter the 
alter the value that is 20 plus 10 30 when I when it move back to the main method here the value re will remain 30 only now we'll see that now I'll just remove the breakpoint I'll just press F11 now it has reached here I'll press F11 now the outside where value is 20 and I'm passing it to the sum function here I'm not passing only the value I'm also passing the reference to it now it has reached to the definition of this sum function now here the value is 20 now when I press F11 it reaches inside now you can observe the value of inside where is 30 now when this function completes it will reach to the main method here we have to wait for the value now you can check the outside where value is 30 now if I continue the value remains 30 why because so you can understand from this so ref helps to pass variable data by reference in simple if you have two method that is main method and the sum function um, if you want to pass data from sum function to main method um, and if you want to get the manipulated data from the called function then we will use the ref keyword that is about ref keyword we will call the variable data by reference now now we will see how to pass variable data by out keyword to do that I have to remove this keywords ref out out but still it's throwing me a right squiggly it's uh, throwing me error telling that sorry I have to continue please wait for a while it's happening now when I entered out keyword in the sum function in the called method and in the main in this method also it is throwing me an error telling that use of unassigned out parameter now the first thing you can see here as I said red squiggly and it's telling that I have not initialized this inside var now to clear that I'll just initialize that variable inside var I'm initializing it to 0 now when I do that red squiggly disappears it means that this inside var is initialized to 0 that was the problem with out keyword and this is what the major difference between out and ref out also passes keep in mind out also passes variable data by reference but the what happens in out is, out is it passes only one way it passes the data only from the sum function to main method okay it means that whatever the alteration happen here happens here that only that data will be passed here and printed not the whatever the other data you passed here it will be not considered that is the speciality of the out keyword in other words if I try to send data from the main method I'm trying to send data from the main method but the data was not taken inside keep in mind in out we need to initialize this is very important keep in mind in out we need to initialize variable data inside the function inside this function only even if you pass data from the outside function even if I pass data 20 here it will be not it will be discarded so keep in mind in the out if you're using out keyword and you want to call value variable data by reference we are using out keyword then you need to initialize the value of the variable inside the function itself now when I run this program I'll get the output as 10 only we'll run once again okay control F5 we'll get the output as 10 only that is the reason that is the usage of out keyword now I'll keep the breakpoint uh, sorry I'll press F11 we'll navigate to simple each statement now once I reach inside the value is 20 here now okay now it will move to the sum function definition here the value of inside where is 20 but I am initializing it to 0 here inside now when I press F11 the value of inside is 20 now now again when I press F7 the value of inside is 0 because I've initialized inside the function so the value which came from the main method it disappeared and it has taken this 0 value now when I press F11 again and it reaches to the main method here you can observe the value of out outside where is now 10 this is because as I said if I try to send data from the main method but that data will not be taken and the data will be considered only from the 
some function only the data which comes here will be considered that is the speciality of out keyword and I'm having a diagrammatic representation of it how the call by value by ref and by out works here you can see I'm having two functions in this as explained main and sum function main and sum function if you call by value it happens in only one way means whatever the data if you pass from the main method only that will be taken and the sum function data will be discarded and by out whatever the data which we present in the calling function that is in the sum function it will be taken and the data which will be give, which will which we will give from the main method will be discarded and by ref it will if you want to get the manipulated data which is passed from the main method then it acts it act it acts in a two way that is the speciality of ref keyword thank you please subscribe to ankpro training below have a great day